while nobody's going to miss Kim Jong-il, his death ushers in a little bit of a scary uh, period here. This sort of leadership transition was supposed to be finalized and made official next year in 2012. It's very unclear whether Kim Jong-un, the younger Kim, has the support of both the high-ranking military officers that he needs, as well as the political support as well. Um, he's a young guy. He was just made a four-star general last year, which is a joke because he never served in the military. Um, and so whether anybody takes him seriously is, is an open question. The worst case scenario is, is Kim Jong-un or somebody else doesn't have effective leadership over the country. And so you have basically factional infighting, different people trying to um, off others and, and, and take command. Uh, at the same time, there's already some level of domestic instability in the country because of economic issues, because people are starving. Um, and if those people sort of look at this, the death of Kim Jong-il is sort of a last straw, um, something which introduces too much uncertainty into their own lives, um, you may see uh, the beginnings of some sort of mass exodus, people trying to get out of the country, um, probably fleeing towards China. That'll involve the Chinese military. Um, we don't know how the North Korean military w would respond to, to people trying to flee the country. Um, and that, that could get very messy very quickly.